guys, very exciting video today because these have finally turned up. These are the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty ones. Um, I haven't got all of them, but I've got most of them, I think. Or quite a few of them anyway. Um, and yeah, they literally turned up this morning. I have had one go with them, but yeah, I've got like my base done and I'm going to pop these on top. And then yeah, I'll just tell you what I think and show you the shades and stuff. Um, so let's get straight into so it. I had a bit of trouble getting these, so... I think on their website they said they were being released at 1pm so I was refreshing for ages and then I finally gave up um, and then they came on at 5pm and I managed to get them luckily I thought they was going to sell out like straight away but yeah these retail for £9 each I think we all know they're very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury ones which are obviously a lot more expensive um, I do personally like them there's some shades that I like more than others I think they're nice. The, my favourite is the contour. I'd say they're very nice, very easy to blend. Um, followed by the blush. And then my least favourite is the highlight, just because I'm not really a highlight person, so it's not anything like against the product. Okay, so first up, we've got the contour ones. And I got them in shade Fair Light and then Light Medium. Um, this is more my shade, 100%. This is obviously very light. I just wanted to get it because it reminds me of the She Glam um, Cool Contour shade that was like viral on TikTok. So it is very, very cool. I feel like this would be nice to uh, contour with because it creates nice shadows. Um, but yeah, personally for my skin tone, I don't think it works. And then in comparison, this is these are messy already. I hate these um, type of squidgy applicators. They get so messy. But yeah, you can see compared to Charlotte Tilbury, these are a lot smaller. But I personally like it. Like with the Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like I always get way too much product. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop on shade Fair Light just on this side. So just give it a little squeeze. And then literally, like that's such a nice contour shade, isn't it? But I just feel like for me, I just need a little bit more warmth. So I'll go ahead and pop it on. Just like that, it's very, very similar to that um, She Glam shade I was talking about, by the way. Which I think is soft tan, if I'm right in thinking. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and blend this out. These are very easy to blend. Like, can you see? They're really kind of mixing in with that foundation nicely, not going patchy or anything. And just buff this upwards. Like for me, I just feel like this looks a little bit muddy on my skin tone. What do you guys think? I mean, I know I'm buffing it with a very fluffy brush, so it is gonna blend further than maybe I should, but... Like, I feel like this is a nice shade on the nose. Do you know what I mean? It creates like a nice shadow without being, you know, too orangey, like a big out there contour. So I feel like I'm going to stick with using this on the nose because I'm looking and I really like that actually. But just for the like the cheeks and stuff, I feel like this is way too, like got too many grey undertones for me. So yeah, that's what it's looking like. Just going to grab my foundation brush and just buff over the top blend it all in a bit and then on this side i'm going to use light medium this is definitely my shade oh just give it a little squidge and just pop a little bit on like it's not much darker than the other one to be honest but it's just got a bit more of a warm undertone i really love that like you can go in with a full dot of this and it's not like too much so I've actually got the Revolution one of this, the contour wand as well. And their dabs are just so big that, you know, sometimes even one is too much. But yeah, I like how much product comes out with these. Again, just going to take my contour brush. Oh God, it's all in my hair. Tuck that bit on my ear. Oh, I hate this. I hate having my ear out. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and buff that in. Just like so. Let me get my mirror down here. Can you see, oh my God, this shade is just perfect. I love it. I feel like it's cool enough to use as a contour, but also warm enough to not leave you looking a bit flushed out, if that makes sense. I absolutely love it. I feel like with this shade, I don't really need to go in with bronzer. Whereas this side, I definitely do. And then finally, let's take it down the nose. And kind of up into the eyebrow. 
Okay, so this is the contour on both sides. Definitely love this one more. I feel like this one, the cool one, works more for the nose though. Can you see? I just feel like this looks a lot more subtle and natural for the nose. And then this side for everywhere else. Okay, now for the blush. So I got this in shade Rose, oh is it Rose you slay? Rose or Rose. I knew straight away on the website this would be a bit of me. Such a nice colour. Um, I think there's three other shades. I don't know why I didn't get more shades in the blush, to be honest. I feel like I looked at them and they just didn't look like ones I would wear. Um, this is very nice. So, oh, this one's quite clean, actually, which is good. Squeeze. I love squeezing these out. It's so satisfying. Um, and then you don't need much of this at all. So, let me do two dots. And you can see, like, I hope you can see on camera how much shimmer is in there. So you honestly don't need um, to go in with highlighter after this. I feel like this gives such a nice shine. Um, I found it blended way, way much, way better with my sponge. So I'll, like, I'll blend it with, I can't get my words out. I'll blend it with a brush on this side just so you can see. So again, I'm going to take that same um, brush and this is what this side looks like uh, typically this is actually blended out all right this time when I done it earlier it just didn't feel like it was dispersing very well this actually looks all right it's such a nice color isn't it I just need to blend it in a bit better under the eyes so I'm gonna go back over with my concealer Oh, I just love this so much. Can you see what I mean? Like you just do not need highlighter with it. Gives such a nice shine without being too in your face. And then this side, I'm gonna take my little marshmallow spongy. Oh, that's just so perfect. Definitely a sponge, I would say. If you want it to like really press into the skin, definitely go with a sponge. I'm obsessed, I love this. And can you see? So this is what it looks like with a brush. And with a sponge, I feel like it's a bit more glowy with a br br brush, I'm not going to lie. Um, but then I feel like this looks more natural, more blended. So yeah, for me, I personally prefer the uh, sponge. I'll take it over the nose. But yeah, how pretty is that? I love it. And it doesn't feel like sticky or anything. I feel like it's given a really nice radiance to the skin. I love it. I actually love the contour and the blush equally, I would say. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to do the highlighters. So I got it in shade Champagne and Rose Quartz. Um, which side should I do? Let's swap them around. I'm going to do Rose on this side. I don't know, it doesn't really make a difference. Ew, this has got very messy, this one. Um, I don't need to squeeze it because it's already like coming out. I don't know, like, I'm looking at it. I don't know if I could screw it down to close it. So I didn't, I didn't screw it to open it, so I'm guessing not. Um, but let me go ahead and just do a few little dots. I'm going to blend that with my finger. I feel like this looks patchy, I don't know why. Let's go ahead and blend it in. I'm going to take my sponge again. It's a very nice like shimmer. Again, definitely blend with a sponge. And that's what the sheen looks like. Very glassy, very natural. I don't feel like it has much of a rosy colour, to be honest with you. Let me pop a bit more on. It's it's very, like, luminous, but I don't feel like it's very rosy. I've, I don't know if it's because it's, like, mixing in with the blush underneath. Oh, that tip is disgusting. Um... But yeah, that's what it looks like. And then on this side, we're going to go in with champagne. So let's get that ready. And I feel like, like I actually thought I was going to like this one more. But I feel like I like this one more. So just blend that in. And that's what the champagne side looks like. Versus the rose side. 
Oh, I don't know if it's my placement, but this side is definitely looking more shiny. I've changed my mind again. I do prefer this side. I feel like it just looks better on my skin tone now I look at it. I've actually changed my mind about the pigment. Like now this one's on and I've blended it in. You can definitely see that this is a lot more rosy. So completely ignore what I was I'm saying. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and do like my eyes and lips and then I'll be back to show you the finish. Okay, so this is all the rest of my makeup done, powdered and everything. Um, this is this side, love the contour as I was saying. And then this side, look at the shine on this. I'm obsessed with this blush and uh, highlight combination together. Cause I've like powdered over the top so it doesn't look like proper shiny and greasy but it just looks very radiant like i feel like this side also looks radiant as well nice and like luminous but this side is definitely giving you know that big massive glow um and yeah i love it like i feel like the price of these is really reasonable so nine pounds each i think yeah i said at the start I personally would just get the one shade of each so i'd go for the light medium i think it was yeah the light medium contour the rose blush and then the rose uh, highlight as well but yeah honestly i think they're so nice they're really nice and blendable as well the only thing i had trouble with is the fair to light contour stick like i found that was a little bit patchy but i don't know if that's just like my skin tone or whatever um but yeah overall very impressed with these um i'm gonna give them i'm gonna give them like a 4.5 taking into account how they wear how they look on the skin the cost of them the only reason i'm not giving it a straight up five is because i personally feel like if i was doing an everyday makeup there's still other products that i would rather reach for um so for me i like a bit of a brighter blush uh the highlight actually would probably be, like if I was going to go for a highlight, I feel like I would actually choose this over other products that I use. But yeah, I would reach for the highlighter. The blush, I'd probably use one of my own ones, a nice bright one. Um, the contour stick is nice actually. I feel like it would be a toss up between that one and then like a cream contour stick. So yeah, that's why it's not a solid five because it's not like, oh my God, these are amazing. I'm going to be using them every single day. They're just a nice addition to my kit that I am going to use, but not like all the time, if that makes sense. So yeah, that brings me to the end of the video. If you've got any questions, as always, just pop them in the comments. Um, subscribe to my channel, please. Check me out on TikTok and Instagram and I'll see you in my next video.